Hello and welcome back to another Sims 3 build video. My name is Billy and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, if you like videos like this, please feel free to like, subscribe and stick around for more. I do these build videos fortnightly. And yeah, let's get into it. So this week's build is another theme to build. I've been enjoying them a whole lot lately. But on top of that, uh, there might be a second type of content coming to this channel very shortly. Uh, this build video can kind of be viewed as almost a hint to it. I think the first video, which will be kind of more of an introduction to what it will be, uh, will be dropped in a few days after this video is uploaded. That's my plan at least. It might change. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It was, yeah, it was an interesting choice and, but I think it, it'll be good. There were kind of some things I wanted to do and then kind of branching out to give some supplementary co like content on the channel as well as being able to do something a bit interesting that I haven't been able to do in a while. Um, I don't know, just seems fun and just a little bit different. Uh, so this lot is called the Spellbinding Suburban. If you couldn't tell by the name, it's got a bit of a supernatural theme to it. It's a bit, it, it's kind of built with a witch sim in mind and there's a lot of magic and mystery in this house, which you'll see as we get further into the build. It's on a 30 by 20 lot, it's three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. So two full bathrooms, one half bathroom. Um, yeah, I think not so much custom content in this one, um, but a few expansion packs. Supernatural obviously being a very big one. And this build is very Victorian inspired, I'd say. It's definitely... It's definitely a modern build, but it's it's like a suburban home based on Victorian architecture. But yeah, it was a bit of a different one for me to do. I think I kind of, I always love the Victorian architecture, but I always, I don't know, I feel like I can never execute it that well in The Sims, but I think I did pretty well this time. And a lot of this layout was definitely done on the fly. I think I... I had a picture of a house that I wanted to base it off of and I did like a general sketch of how I wanted it to fit together on the ground floor. The upper floor though was completely me winging it um, as well as I think the back I kind of had to work out how I was going to get everything I wanted to fit into it. Um, but yeah just placing down the windows. I did use the windows from University Life rather than much of anything from Supernatural but it still works, I just, I like the style of it a bit more rather than just the general like squares on the window panes. Uh, but here yeah, just sticking down the doors. And I did have a lot of trouble with the roofing as well. <laughs> and as usual I of course like forgot a tile on one of them. I think I went one tile too far over. I. I need to get better at placing down roofs, honestly. I am so bad at not, like, missing a spot, I guess. Or things like that. And I'm sorry I did use custom content stairs in this house. Uh, I had to. <laughs> it just fits better. I think I was trying to figure out a way to not use them when I was doing the general planning, and then I just realized that it was going to be so much more complicated. Although, in hindsight, I probably could make it work. So, if you don't want those stairs, please feel free to swap them out. And yeah, I also tried to do an island counter, my favourite thing to do. Not really. It's a struggle to get them lined up really nicely in the middle there, because uh, you can't just build them like normal. Um, and a, quite a decent sized kitchen and a very cosy living room. I wasn't sure if I wanted the kitchen to be that size, but also I have this big debate of, for me, I like having a really sizable kitchen in The Sims 3 because otherwise the routing gets a bit messy. I feel like 
they sometimes like to all try and cook at once and then you run out of space and it's just a mess. It's I like having a lot of counter space uh, in The Sims 3 in the kitchen. I don't, I can't like function when I'm actually playing in a house with only a couple of counters. It makes me nervous. Um, and yeah, just putting in that space for the half bathroom there and using a little wicker bin. I, I felt like doing anything other than that was going to feel like too modern. But yeah. And using... I, I tend to like avoid using, I think, custom content beds a lot, I've realised. Because I did end up going through to help myself out in the future by making like a master list of the custom content that I've linked in my descriptions and like how I've written it out and then linked to them. Um, because I've just been doing that manually one by one and pulling them out of my old descriptions if I knew I'd used it before. But now I've got an actual, actual spreadsheet which will make it a lot quicker for me um, to go through and find it all. But I realised I only had like a couple of beds in there. Which surprises me because when I'm like actually playing with a house, I put in custom content beds everywhere. Like that's one of the few things I do use. I use custom content beds and couches and like wall art. But I don't really often decorate that much the houses I play in. Um, at least not if I'm like buying a house rather than playing out of one of my own builds. If it's something I've built from scratch then it's absolutely decorated. But if I'm just building on a like base game house I don't tend to. But I, I might have done this time but that's because... I felt like it was important because people were actually seeing what I was uh, playing. There's another hint. Um, but yeah, I don't know, when I'm just playing on my own I don't really do it. Because also I feel like I, I struggle with having my sims have a low amount of money, which is really hilarious because everyone says it's so easy to get money in The Sims 3, which I guess it is, but not in the way that I play. So for me, spending money decorating a house is so difficult. I am trying to keep things as cheap as possible because I want my sims to have like a good amount of simoleons. Which is kind of, I guess, how I live my actual life, not gonna lie. But <laughs> I just can't justify spending money on decorations if it's a house my sims are actually like building. Um, so I just don't decorate at all. Um, yeah, I just can't do it. But yeah, I know it's like super easy to have your sims write books all the time or something to earn simoleons and do other stuff, but I just don't play in the optimal way, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I should, <laughs> I don't know. But there's also still some people that manage to optimize that but also have good times, good amount of time for their sims to like socialize and do events and I really don't know how people juggle that. Like, I don't think I can do that in real life, let alone in The Sims. But, and it's crazy because I do use um, in-race relativity. So you'd think my Sims would have time to do everything, but I just have them focus on building skills to help their career, not necessarily like building skills on the side that earn them money, extra money, like writing. It's like if the sim's not actually a writer as part of their story or their traits, I'm not going to have them write. I just can't do it. Um, but yeah, so now we're getting into the first bedroom, kind of building that out. I love having the little dresser there. And I was so debating, because I like the idea of having wardrobes and everything, like the supernatural ones. But in that first, like, master bedroom, and I did manage to fit one in the spare bedroom, but in that master bedroom, I just didn't, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to, like, orient it, because I wanted to have a dresser in there, a proper one. Um, because I feel like just the, the one with the mirror is not actually enough storage, realistically, for anyone. Um, so that would have bothered me. But it was, like, hard to not make it feel like it was just in the way for me. Um, and yeah, I've put a nursery in this one. It's 
honestly pretty neutral. I think I went with the blue theme for this one, but then when I get into the decor, it's a lot more girly. But you know what? Your boy, your boy babies can absolutely like butterflies and <laughs> and uh, yeah, and unicorns. I don't think that's a gendered problem. So yeah, it's blue themed. Congratulations, it's not pink this time. Um, but yeah, so nursery this time and a spare room. And I managed to use the little light from University Life and just chucking down some lights. I do really like how this turned out. I went with a very uh, witchy, witchy theme with it. And also like a little bit of purple. I didn't try and make most of the house that purple. It's fairly neutral. Uh, but the main bedroom is definitely purple. I do have particular sims in mind when I'm building this. Uh, not that you will necessarily see it that much, at least not for a while. It might pop up at some point. And yeah, I got to use this rug converted from The Sims 4. I thought it was so fun, especially with the name of it. Um, but I believe it's from like the Growing Together uh, expansion pack or something. I haven't played The Sims 4, but it's not from the Magic one that much, I realised. Uh, which is interesting, because it really does have a very magical feeling to it. I'm I'm sure it's meant to be like some generational rug thing, but it, it just doesn't have that vibe to me. Um, but yeah, I'm giving a little seating area upstairs. But yeah, and of course on the bottom floor you would have seen that I put in a little secret room. In a way it's almost a couple of secret rooms but one of them's like fully accessible um, for the alchemy station or whatever supernatural sim uh, you want here. Or non-supernatural, anyone can do alchemy. And then a little secret room with a with a bookcase door that has a vampire altar in it. Very mysterious. <laughs> Which in a way is kind of creepy because thinking about it, like all the shows, any show I've watched that's like Supernatural, and I mean the show literally called Supernatural is one of these examples. Like whenever there's like a, just a hidden room in the house, it's not a good thing at all whatsoever. It's probably where someone's hiding to come sneak out in the night and that's terrifying. Um, but no, the idea with this one is not that you have a mysterious secret vampire living in your house. I would think that your sims very well know that they're living with a vampire and they're cool with it. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> they're not just secretly living there. Um, it's just a place to go and hide during the daytime and sleep where there's no windows or anything. That is it. It's nothing creepy or untoward, I swear. I mean, if you want to use it that way, feel free, but no, I did not intend it that way. And yeah, and if you're not into that or you don't want like the supernatural stuff in this house, please do feel free to remove it. I don't care. Uh, do what you want. Once you download this house, it is yours to do with what you want. But if you do anything interesting with it, again, I think I said this in a couple of videos previously, but do please feel free to like post it to Tumblr or something like that and tag me, because it is interesting to see what other people do with stuff. Um, because my style is my style and everyone has their own. And I don't think my style is necessarily anything too special. Um, but some people have very interesting, like very recognizable styles, and I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm just getting into decorating the bathroom. Pretty boring for both of them. I did try and not keep everything the same in all of them. Um, I think just the spare bathrooms, I had the same like soap and toilet brush and stuff, uh, which makes sense. I personally, if I was decorating a house, would have the same stuff in every bathroom, but that's because I'm boring and I like things to match. <laughs> Just buy three of the same thing and chuck it in everywhere. Um, yeah, throwing down some plants. I find it hilarious how I didn't, um, 
do anything with the walls this whole time. I swear I I, I put something on the walls before I <laughs> before I uploaded the build. I promise you. Uh, but I did leave them to the end. I don't know why, really. I just was really keen on furnishing everything. So I just like chucked down the flooring and said good enough. And yeah, once I got around to like actually patterning the items, because I know I always leave that to last at least, I did actually go in and start adding in some decoration on those walls. But, and yeah, here we go. We're putting down the walls, finally. Yeah, aren't we glad I didn't accidentally forget to do that? That would have been very possible because of how late I left it, but it's fine. We got there in the end. And yeah, with that, I kind of didn't want to go too white with the walls. I wanted it to have a nice aged look. Although, interestingly enough, those walls are, um, more so giving Tudor um, inspired, not necessarily Victorian. But you know, old houses are old houses, and I don't quite frankly care. It, I like the vibe. <laughs> I like it. It's just old fashioned and kind of spooky and fun. That's all we need. Yeah, getting into recoloring. I do really love the table that I got, it's custom content from Kerrigan House Designs, which I've been using a lot of their custom content recently. Um, I think it came with some chairs for it and a bench, but I ended up just using chairs from Pets. Then recoloring all of the windows and recoloring this table. I keep things fairly simple in the decoration. But I like couldn't figure out what to do with the top of that table. But I like how it turned out. I didn't want to keep it like all the same wood. But I also didn't want like the light wood was not working on top and I don't think paint would have worked either. I figured it out. Yeah, getting everything all aligned in colour. That mirror drove me mad. I didn't realize, I think the first two or three swatches are not recolorable. That or I was just being dumb, or I wasn't waiting long enough for it to load. I'm not sure, but it didn't seem like they would recolor to me, but I figured it out eventually. Yeah, really just getting all the different bits and pieces finished off. And yeah, I don't normally use those like cabinets in the bathroom either. I always feel like they kind of look out of place. I don't know why. Like they worked in here because I had a really big bathroom to work with but they just... I don't know they just don't seem to fit in quite right to me. I don't know why. And figuring out what I'm doing with the shower. As usual I should just suck it up and start using specific custom content tiles. Um, like figure out what ones they are and just use those ones over and over because I hate the square tiles that are in the base game with a passion. I don't like how they look. The shading on them is so weird. They just look gross. Um, but I don't like using custom content patterns that much because they're so much more of a pain to fig like find them. Especially like my tile ones, which I downloaded probably <laughs> like I probably downloaded them maybe like eight years ago initially and have just been transferring them between computers ever since. So it's it's a bit of a problem for me to find them. Yeah, just darkening up that shower a little bit because it didn't quite look right. It's such a everything else being so dark in that bathroom. Yeah. Also, it's so weird that the, like, the toddler potty is made out of metal texture. I didn't know that until that moment where I was like, why is it so shiny? Because I thought it was plastic. Uh, but then I replaced it. And so yeah, everything is definitely a bit on the darker side, um, is the goal. Like, not everything, but, you know, any accenting pieces, everything's like a very dark wood style. And having a bright blue toddler potty just was not going to fit in that vibe. 
<laughs> so it had berry colored and then targeting some lights. I tried to go room by room very strictly to make sure I recolored everything because I do have a terrible tendency to forget to recolor like the little towels and stuff like that. It's a bad habit. And I love what I did with this rug. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think in a previous build I might have tried that pattern for half a second. Um, and then I knew I wanted to do it at some point. I will say I love that tile pattern right there. I accidentally deleted half the room. It's fine, we didn't see anything. It's A-OK. -okay. Um, and yeah, now placing down curtains. I did manage to use the curtains that close at night. I was excited for that one. Um, they're a bit of a pain to place down because they take up so much space. So I had to use move objects uh, to get them in in a lot of places. Worked out fine, but they are a bit of a nuisance. And the blinds I just can't get to fit properly, so... That is what that is. Curtains were a better vibe for this build anyway, but I like them. It'll be interesting. I haven't actually played with them before, so yeah, but I've been eyeing them up for a while. Now swapping out the fridge. <laughs> One more or less item of co custom content to link, although actually it was just because that fridge for some reason clips through the back of the wall. Um, I don't know why. And I couldn't like move it forward, so it was just gone. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what to do with this wall. There was too much space. I wanted to put down cabinets, but I couldn't. They weren't matching ones for those counters that I could find, and so it is what it is. Yeah. So that's pretty much all the decoration put down. <laughs> and so now we're on to landscaping. Um, I wanted to keep this one pretty simple. I swear I considered putting a backyard in initially, and I'm only remembering this now. I didn't put in a backyard. I kept it all very free. But I think I thought at one point in time that would be perfect with that little set of stairs off the side to have a backyard. But there's nothing fenced in, it's all it's all free. Um lots of bushes, lots of flowers. But yeah, keeping it fairly simple. And I use some plants from Supernatural that I don't normally touch. Um, and hiding the bin was actually a big goal of mine. And throwing down some rocks. But yeah, so that's the landscaping and pretty much it for this build. So screenshots coming up soon. Look forward to seeing some new content very shortly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Press like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.